Hey everyone, it's Sarah here. Today I have a special video for you. Normally I post here on Thursdays, but I am posting today because it is release day over at Everyday Explorers. There are some new stamp sets that are coming out and I wanted to share a project with you using one of the new sets. This one is called Time to Celebrate and I'm gonna be documenting my daughter's second birthday. Um, but there are several stamp sets that are releasing. So I'm gonna link up the shop down in the description box below. Feel free to head on over there and check out everything that is coming out today. Um, but this is a special insert for my 9x12 2020 Project Life album. I'm using this 6x12 um, pocket page insert that has 3x3 squares. This is a Studio Calico um, pocket page and I worked in a 6x12 format last year so I have quite a few of these left over um, and I just thought this would be a great way to kind of document this special day my daughter's second birthday um, we had actually planned to do something like a, throw a little party for her after the actual day March 7th um, but we postponed it and then of course everything happened with the virus so we will be celebrating later on um, but I did want to go ahead and just document what we had done on the actual day it was actually just me and her so she got some balloons in her crib in the morning and she got to pick out some little cupcakes from one of our favorite places so just a few special things we just spent time kind of doing all the things that she likes to do all the kind of play activities that she enjoys doing um, throughout the day but I'm using um, some of my old cards some of these are Kelly Perky cards some are from Studio Calico and then I'm pulling in some Everyday Explorer stickers you can see here and then of course that stamp set which I'm mainly using just to embellish all of the photos and my journaling cards I'm going to be adding some titles to some of these cards and they're always kind of the perfect fit for these pockets because they're just that nice size. They're small enough that they fit nicely on photos, but then you can also use them to title your cards. So I just really, really enjoyed using these on this layout. I am grabbing some Kelly Perky labels here. These are probably my favorite labels just because of all the colors, the variety of colors that um, Kelly always comes out with. And so I am going in with my stays on ink to stamp on there. Um, I've just found that since these labels have a bit of a slick surface that stays on is my best bet. I have tried other dye inks and for some reason the ink always seems to shift over time. So anyways, just to kind of make sure it stays put and I get a nice crisp image, I go ahead and stamp in stays on. So here I went in with that little, I don't know, would you call that like a firecracker? I can't, I can't even think of the word right now, <laughs> but that um, small stamped as kind of a bullet point so that I could add in the activities that we did that day. That was just kind of a fun way, a fun play on that um, kind of bullet point. I did something a little bit different that I never do when I'm working on my layouts and that was I worked on one side of the page and then I flipped it over and worked on the other side. So normally I would have just put these side by side and I'm still trying to figure out why I did it this way. It made it a little bit more difficult because I did want the colors to kind of correspond and look good together. but. Anyways, that's why you see me constantly flipping back and forth because I'm just kind of seeing the colors and if there's a nice um, kind of flow to it. But I guess I just figured since this is how it was going into my album, I would go ahead and work on it this way. I'm not sure, but anyways, that's, that's what's going on here. Um, and I'm just picking out some colors that go with these, these photos. I did have more pinks on this side, so 
um, I ended up kind of bringing in a contrasting blue color. And I did want to do a little bit of journaling about the big kind of whoops I did on her birthday. I actually dropped her cupcakes, you guys, which was so sad. We just stood there in shock for a couple of minutes and <laughs> me more than her, she was just kind of like, whoops. And anyways, nothing that some sprinkles couldn't cover up, but it was just, of course, those things happen, right? Even when you have nice, beautiful cupcakes that you've just brought home and then you drop the container when you're going to take a photo. So that is real life. I wanted to make sure that I included that story. She's obviously not going to remember that. And I could have probably just left out the story and said that everything went perfectly, but that is not real life. And I think it's good to include the good and the bad, um, even though that's not really that bad, right? I mean, it's not ideal, but it's not the worst thing that could have happened, right? So anyways, that was a fun little story to include in that pocket there. And then I think I'm just gonna create a filler card here. I wanted to see if I could use as many of the applicable stamps as I could. There were some that were kind of anniversary themed. Um, I think one that said my birthday. So anyways, I'm just stamping out all the ones that I thought would work for this particular layout and just kind of going for it. I'm, I'm gonna make my own um, a filler card here using some white card stock and I'm just gonna stamp out and make um, just kind of a fun repeated pattern. And then I'm also bringing in some of my favorite washi tape. This is a rainbow washi from Studio Calico that came out a while ago. Um, I will link anything that is available out there down in the description box as I always do. So if you're looking for any of these things, you can find them there. Um, but I'm just seeing if I can add a sentiment to the center there. I wanted to make sure that it really stood out and kind of popped against the repeated background that I had. So I did add it to a label. Those come in so handy for that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do some journaling. And that is going to complete this insert. So I really hope that you enjoyed seeing how I used this stamp set on this layout. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button if you wanna make sure that you don't miss any future videos. And so I'm gonna see if I can get another video scheduled for my usual day on Thursday of this week. But if not, I will be back with another video next week. As always, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and I will catch you next time. Bye.